Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm happy to see your face, but if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And in today's video, it's going to be a talkative one because I am getting ready to head over to my brother's house because we're about to eat some food, you know? It's that time of the year where we celebrate life and celebrate family and food and eating and, okay? Don't mind me, we're going over there to celebrate my nephew's birthday and I figured while I was getting ready, I was doing this simple look, let me just chat with you guys about my thoughts about the future of my content and also speak to you about my shopping habits and some of my shopping limits that I've placed on myself and how I feel about the whole situation <laughs> because I've mentioned it in quite a few videos and I just wanted to talk you guys through my thought process a little bit and like how that's going to impact my content and my channel and just how I've been feeling about creating content here on YouTube lately. So if that sounds interesting to you and you just want to hang out with me for a little bit and chit chat then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. All right, so you guys know the drill. We're starting off with what? Clean, freshly washed face. I have done nothing yet because I just took a shower. So I feel all fresh and stuff. I did my hair because I have to get the hell out of here before my mom starts calling me. Whew. So it is the shopping weekend of the year. It is Saturday after Thanksgiving. Everybody's shopping. It's a whole situation. And it's perfect timing for me to talk about my shopping habits that I mentioned in previous videos. I've mentioned it here or there. I've like continuously made comments about like limiting my shopping and stuff. And I wanted to talk a little bit more with you guys about it. I will try to mention the products that I'm using. I'm applying this moisturizer from Elemis. It is the Peptide 4, which is really Peptide to the fourth power, Adaptive Day Cream. And it says this adaptive cream helps create flawless looking complexion. And one of you guys actually recommended this for me. It says you can use it as a day cream or primer under makeup. And I'm like, tell me more. But one of you guys recommended it to me in the comments for oily skin because you said you tried it and it helps control your oil and you're right okay i don't know that it's like controlling my oil but it's definitely balancing my skin it definitely sits well under makeup it doesn't feel greasy or anything so thank you so much for your recommendation i love it so if you are looking for a nice moisturizer that kind of balances out your skin that is a good one and i love sharing moisturizers with you guys because I have oily skin, it's a whole situation. So, I am headed over to my brother's house because it's my nephew's birthday and they're, like my mother loves say, my mother loves say she had to throw something upon the grill. Which means she's gonna be grilling some chicken or something outside. She gonna make food and she want me to come over. So my brother is trying something upon the grill and I wanted to go over to help him earlier, but my mom went over and helped him because he just had surgery. Oh my God. Oh, like it's been a whole situation, guys. My other brother, he's the middle one. He was in a car accident a couple of weeks ago. He totaled his truck and yeah he was in the hospital like it was a whole situation with him he's in georgia and then now this brother the oldest one went ahead and did a surgery for like it was a growth in his neck look at me telling people business what a piece of mix up don't mind me but yeah he um did surgery on his neck to remove this i don't know if it was a growth necessarily they still haven't explained to him or he hasn't really been listening because you know when doctors start talking you're just like mm, okay get it on my neck but it's like this mask that has been in his neck for over a decade and i've been trying to get him to get it out for all this time and like now that i'm finally here like listen i am just driving it home like go take care of it 
So he got it biopsied and, and like drained some fluid from it. They tested it. And so far it's like a benign growth, right? So they're still going to do further testing now that they've removed it. But he did that surgery and I'm like, y'all just can't sit down and relax for a minute. Like why y'all got to do all these things? Like what is going on? It's still only a couple of days later. He did it on Tuesday, today, Saturday. So he's still like a little stiff and like the neck is, you know, the whole situation. He has stitches the whole nine yards right so I was gonna go over early but my mom went over so I'm like all right thank God cuz I'm tired okay and I wanted to film a little bit because I haven't been is it too bright I feel like it's a little bright I don't know but yeah I wanted to film because I finally have like four days off which weren't really four days off because Thursday I was cooking so I wasn't filming anything and then Friday I filmed some stuff so I have some like B-roll footage, some swatches, different things that I have been doing. And that's the thing about me and filming. Like I film in part because it's hard for me to film a full video unless it's like get ready with me video in one go, you know? Because there's B-roll, there's swatches, I gotta get product shots and all these different things. And I do the intro, the outro, the, all the things, right? Plus I gotta prep in between. So it's hard to do like a review video or like a haul video all in one go because there is additional filming that needs to be done that is not happening anyway so i film in parts and the problem is i film in parts and then i don't end up completing the video and i mentioned a couple of videos to you guys that i was working on that i still have not done like what the hell so i have this cream bronzer video that i was working on since the summer so since like august is when i filmed the majority of it and i still haven't filmed the final part of that video and i'm like what it is december now uh, it's not but it's almost december and i still have not completed the video like but these are the things, okay, when you're busy and you got life going on and you work outside of YouTube because YouTube is not my full-time job. I'm not an influence. I mean, I influence, but I'm not like a full-time influencer. Like, it's not my job. Social media is not my job. So, I have work. I work a 9 to 5, which is really like a 8 to 6. And then you're so, I'm a consultant. I've shifted over to consulting right now. So it's almost like you never stop working because you're going to work on the projects that you have until they're done. So it never truly stops. You're never truly off the clock. If a client wants a call at seven o'clock because they're on a different time zone, then so be it. If they got to get on at 6 a.m. because of the same thing, then it is what it is, right? The only time I make sure that I'm offline is for the weekends because work-life balance and two days on the weekend is not enough because I have to clean you know regular adulting I'm going to cook I'm going to grocery shop and do laundry and all that stuff plus have time to go see my family and also like spend time socializing hanging out with people and all that same tell us I'm gonna call me now watch our hold on hello are you going to be hosted no all right, when you go there, see, I'm going to go in my bedroom, in my closet. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you go in from the right hand side, you see two pack of cars. How when I shake them, they go oh, so yeah. carefully, they are there. You know? What kind of car? Same car. Oh, okay. My mother just called me, y'all, to ask me if I went over to her house yet because I'm supposed to go over there to pick up some stuff before I go to my brother's house. She told me to go pick up some playing cards. <laughs> We play this game called Sevens, and then we have um, Casino. You guys should check those games out. We played that religiously as kids. It was really fun, so we're probably going to play cards tonight. So, yeah, between just living my life, two days of personal time is just not enough for me to be bothered with filming for the majority of the time. So I try to film after work or just when I have gaps in the day. Like right now, I'm getting ready to go over to my brother's house so I have a little bit of time or what I think is a little bit of time so I'm getting ready and I can just talk to you guys while I'm getting ready and I'm again not even gonna mention too many of the products you'll see primer on my eyelids so yeah 
I wanted to do this video to talk a little bit about the shopping limits that I have set out for myself or that I was trying to set out for myself and I've spoken about it again in other videos where I said for the rest of this year, you've probably heard it by now, you're probably like, shut up about it now, Tina. Oh my God, we heard enough. And you're right. You probably heard enough, okay? I've heard it enough. But what I was trying to do was limit myself to a certain number of products. I put the limit between five and seven and potentially going up to 10, but that's where I wanted to be. Like I only wanted to take in a set amount of products for the rest of the year I'm not like going out here shopping left and right like I don't want to do that and so I mentioned that I was gonna limit myself to that five to seven products and then the Sephora event came around you know that shopping fiasco that Sephora throws at us every year and I did pretty well if you hear my AC I'm sorry about it I'm not gonna turn it off because I'm hot so it don't matter but yeah, like Sephora gives us this little crumb of a discount, 20% off if you're VIB Rouge, which I am, which means I spent $1,000 or over $1,000 at Sephora for the year, which is not exactly something to be proud of. But you get 20% only if you've already spent $1,000 at Sephora. You get 15% if you spent over $300 but under that $1,000 limit and then everybody else gets 10%. That is minimal and dismal and just whatever, who cares, right? So I was already not interested in a lot of products and I wasn't interested in that sale because of course, like I said, this is the shopping weekend where you have Black Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving and there is all these sales going on. Every brand has sales and I've been getting emails left and right, like it has become kind of ridiculous like every brand every store 20 percent 30 percent 35 percent 40 percent and that's why the sephora sale was not that impressive because the brands themselves that are sold at sephora the majority of them do their own sales They're, they do friends and family they do their black friday sale and they do the cyber monday sale plus they're gonna be other holiday sales and their minimum is like 15% or 20% and then you have other brands like Pat McGrath is doing up to 40% off. Why would I buy Pat McGrath at Sephora unless I wanted instant gratification and not just buy it at Pat McGrath? I mean she takes forever to ship apparently but like why wouldn't I then just buy from Pat McGrath and get that larger discount, you know what I mean? There are other brands that don't really do sizable sales, like Hourglass. They normally don't do sales. They're even given 20% off. Charlotte Tilbury doesn't do sales either. You can get 20% off, 30% off some things over there at Charlotte Tilbury, okay? So it's like, why am I rushing and chasing Sephora when I can get better deals elsewhere, right? So I was pretty confident in that I wouldn't get too much from the sale. The AC has finally settled down, oh yeah. So I am going to grab a new purchase, okay? From Lisa Eldridge, this is one of her new palettes. This is Cinnabar. And I've done a video, well, it was a short, where I swatched these out. And you can check out my Instagram or just check out my YouTube page. So we're just gonna test this out. So I'm not gonna really go too in depth because there will be a review video coming up. I have thoughts, okay? I have thoughts. I'm not gonna even tell you where I'm applying, what I'm applying, whatever, right? So I was pretty confident that I could avoid the majority of the sales. There was nothing I was really interested in at Sephora. So for me, limiting myself was not a big deal, right? Now, I did end up exhausting my limit at Sephora and then a couple of other purchases. And I'm going to do a haul video, you'll see that. But I didn't go crazy which I can go crazy okay you guys have probably already seen hauls from me before if you haven't they're on my channel but like I can do some serious damage at Sephora and this time around I really did not and I was proud of myself 
and I mentioned that in like a video that you know yeah I've gone over the limit that I'd really set like if I was going hard and fast I've already gone over the limit and then just a couple of people made a little snarky comment like oh Tina we knew you weren't gonna stick to your limit and I'm like don't do that don't do that I was really upset with you guys but listen I'm not mad okay I know it was all in fun like we're we're friends here okay it's a fancy fam so I really wasn't offended I was a, you know how you get mad at your friends and be like really really what you know about me what you know about my life like that kind of mad at you but I'm not like actually mad at you okay so don't don't, don't think I'm mad at you but I was like I know this bitch you know how you You'll say to your friends, like, I know this bitch, then just call me out. Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> so I'm over here feeling pretty proud about it. And y'all gonna be like, girl, we knew you wasn't gonna meet that limit. And I'm like, I should cuss you out, but I'm not going to. Cause I get it, I get it, right? You guys probably were like, yeah, you're not gonna meet that. You're gonna definitely over shop. And based on my pattern, you know, yeah, yeah, you could say, you could say that. So. Thank you so much, but however, <laughs> I was still happy about how limited my shopping was. I'm still happy with the fact that I didn't pick up like a ton of products. I still did limit myself and I wasn't tempted, which is probably the one thing that I'm really proud of. I wasn't tempted, like I wasn't like, oh my God, I'm gonna miss out. I didn't do any spur of the moment purchases. I didn't go in store and then just grab things because they were exciting or they swatched nicely or I thought, oh my God, this would make a great video. No, I really did limit myself. And for me, that's a win. A win is a win, okay? A win is a win. So I don't care what y'all say. I did stay under the 10 item maximum except for this purchase here, which I'm going to get into as well because I'm not counting it towards my limit you get what I mean so yeah I am still pretty proud of myself that I didn't go overboard and I'm still pretty excited about that and even the feeling that I'm getting when looking at new releases a lot has changed with that I'm not intrigued I don't care I'm not here feeling like I have to test it I have to review it I'm not thinking any of that and that is a much different approach than I've had in the past. So that is why I am proud of myself. Like things have definitely changed and that makes me excited about, you know, my future shopping habits. And I don't foresee that changing much during the holiday season, like the big shopping season for Christmas and everything because I don't want any more makeup and it's not that some of the things aren't pretty but everything that's launching now I have a version of that already in my collection unless it's something like this purchase which let's just jump into it right now I did pick up a couple of palettes from Lisa Eldridge her new launch because these are products that I want to try out, I want to review, and I want to tell you guys about it, okay? Lisa Eldridge is one of those brand owners, one of those creators, one of those makeup artists that I admire. And when she releases products, she, like, there's a conscious thought behind it. They're well thought out. The formulas are gonna be well done. So I am always intrigued and I feel like I can contribute to the review landscape here on YouTube when it comes to Lisa Eldridge and this new launch. So that's why I picked it up and low key, I wanted to try them out because it's Lisa and if Lisa says these are fantastic, then I'm like, let me see that. Let me see what you're talking about. You know, let me try it out for myself. So. That's exactly what I did. I went ahead and picked up a couple of the palettes. I also picked up a couple of the singles because you can pick the eyeshadows up as singles. And I also picked up a couple of the new lip shades, both lipstick colors and lip pencils. So I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a review. I'm not rushing it either. I'm testing these out. I'm not going to chase the oh let me get the my video up first because if you want to see me review it then 
you'll see me review it and you'll watch it and the thing about these palettes are that they're very expensive so I know people aren't just rushing out and getting them just because you know they're $68 a piece a piece yeah so I know that people are waiting for reviews so I'm not pressed to get this review up now you know what I mean so a review like this makes sense for my channel and that's how I'm going to approach things moving forward if a review makes sense for me to do if a product makes sense for me to try out for you guys then I'll do it and that's it and if I get new products in PR that I want to test out then I'll do them in like get ready with me videos like I'm doing right now and I can share swatches on my Instagram and if I feel like doing a short which is annoying as hell let me tell you something about shorts okay shorts are annoying I'm not gonna be on TikTok. just just know that okay now never say never but I don't foresee myself being on TikTok because I don't like short form content I don't watch it myself so I'm not even interested in creating it I'll do a little short here or there. I'll do a little Instagram reel here or there. Instagram can still catch a little vibe here or there, but I am not as pressed for short form content because they take forever to edit. Like I posted swatches just now of the Kaleido Symphony Collection. They sent that to me. So I have the contour trios, right? And then the highlighter singles. I did a swatch video and I posted it as a short here on YouTube and as a reel on Instagram and can you believe that that fucking video between filming it and I'm gonna curse because I'm so upset between filming it and editing it it took me about four or five hours and my get ready with me videos I'll film for like an hour and then I'll edit for an hour because it's just straight through for the short you have to get it down to one minute 60 seconds so now you have to go through everything that you filmed figure out what makes sense and I'm not talking in the video so now I have to add text and all this stuff to make sure I'm giving some info at least you know because it's background music and it's just it takes forever and a day I'm not gonna put lashes on I think these yeah this is fine so they take longer to edit even though they're shorter form content and the actual return on investment is not even worth it because I'm not getting a ton of views and there's no real AdSense on that kind of content. So why am I doing it? You know what I mean? And it's not just about making money at all because my AdSense is not that much, you know? I'm not that kind of person that's going to like monetize my entire existence having YouTube memberships and super thanks, which I do have. So if you want to give me a super thanks, <laughs> it's down below. But yeah, like YouTube memberships, okay? Super thanks, a Patreon account with paid memberships, merch that I'm pushing and selling every single minute and in addition to that I have sponsors on every single video and I've seen creators do that and I'm not knocking their hustle but I can't I just don't feel comfortable doing that I feel icky actually doing that because if you have patreon members that are paying you monthly for your content but then each of your videos still has a sponsorship plus you're getting adsense and you're getting youtube red money plus you have affiliate links and affiliate codes and you know it's it's it gets to be a lot and i have affiliate links i have like my youtube adsense so whatever money comes in from ads that are playing on my video youtube red and all that and again, if you want to leave super thanks, but I just don't feel like going above and beyond that trying to get every single part of my content monetized. Like, I don't want to do that. And the effort and energy that comes with that, plus the obligation, because I feel like if you guys are paying me, okay, if you are literally paying me like on Patreon, and I'm not producing I no. I just feel really bad about that I could I could never especially since I do have a job so it's not like I'm in need of that money but again I'm not knocking people that do that 
that are trying to make a better income for themselves. I'm not knocking that at all, but I just won't do that because again, that obligation, if you're paying me, then I'm gonna feel obligated. And the minute I feel like I have to do something because somebody's paying me, it's not fun anymore because now I feel like it's a job and I want this to be fun for me. So I am not going to do that. There are ways I make income from YouTube, again, AdSense, my affiliate links, and I appreciate you guys shopping through my links. I really, really appreciate that. And using like my affiliate code, so like my discount codes, and I have them all linked below. That's the way you can show me support. I'm not gonna do a ton of sponsorships. I'll do sponsorships, but I'm not gonna grab every single sponsorship. Like I see people doing sponsorships that don't even make no sense for who they are, what their content is about. And I'm like, what? You are doing a Teletubby sponsorship? <laughs> How that makes sense? Make it make sense, Sway. Like, what are you doing? But like, you know, again, I'm not knocking anybody hustle, but I just, <laughs> I laugh every time I see that. But I also get it because people need to make money because it's work to make this content. It is work and people deserve to get paid for their job. Like I said, I just dedicated like four hours to doing a stupid ass short and I will definitely not be getting any return on that video. So I just it's not a waste but like literally i just spent four hours doing that when i could have been doing something else with my life you know what i mean so yeah so all that to say <laughs> i'm not going to be the one chasing reviews then every new product that comes out i'm not going to be that reviewer for you guys i can't i just i don't see the value in it for me i will only do reviews that make sense for myself that i'm happy doing and with products that I'm truly interested in reviewing and yeah, I just go from there and I think more of my content will be just talking videos because that's what I like to watch. I like people to make commentary videos and videos where they just talk about what's going on. They're very relaxing for me and I love long form content. So that's what I'm going to create. I'm going to create what I personally love watching because my audience I feel like is very similar to me and I won't grow by doing that because I'm not doing what's necessary to grow and I don't care because I have reached the milestones that I wanted to reach on YouTube and I am one of those people that is okay with staying where I'm at you know I'm not one of those people that need to continue to grow always I can be stuck here and I'll be fine with it. I got to 100,000 subscribers, so I got my YouTube play button. I was able to do a collaboration with two brands, okay, which is really exciting to me. And thank you again for all your support on my collaboration palette. I was able to do that and that to me is all I was ever interested in doing here on YouTube. like. That to me is sufficient. I don't need to do anything else. So I don't care about doing all the extra crap just so I can grow and just so, you know, people will come and watch me because I go viral. Like, I'm not interested in any of that. I don't want to go viral. I don't care that much about growing anymore. I've grown to the point that I'm happy with and comfortable with. And I wish some people and some brands would be comfortable with that as well. Like, you don't always have to be a multi-millionaire like hustle culture you don't need to all the time like you can just be content at a comfortable place like why do you keep having to add on and add on and then you're stressed out and you wonder why you're unhappy no won't be me not me mm -mm. so i am going to pick up products as i see fit that's how i'm going to approach things some of you guys will leave comments about me reviewing certain products or comparing certain products. Like I got a comment about comparing like a Charlotte Tilbury green palette to the Dior khaki palette that I just used in a get ready with me. I'm not going to do that because I don't own the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I have no interest in owning it. Somebody asked me to do a comparison between the Danessa Myricks multi-chrome pencils and the Kaleidos multi-chrome pencils. 
I'm going to do that because I have both and that's an easy video for me. So it's not that I'm not going to take your request. It's just whatever makes sense for me is what I am going to do. And that's what I'm going to stick to. And none of you come for me about, oh, you know, you're buying all the stuff that you said you weren't going to buy. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it right now. You want to fight? You want us to fight? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? No, I'm kidding. But yeah, so... Don't feel bad if I don't um, do what you request. I'm just not going to. I'm going to do what I'm happy with. I'm gonna do what I'm comfortable with. And I'm not gonna chase the algorithm, try to grow and all of that. Like, uh-uh. So you're probably just gonna see a lot more talking videos, a lot more commentary videos, more along the lines of like um my makeup dating series that i did where we just talk about brands and yeah just go from there maybe some car chat videos here the thing here the thing people are like i love the car chats i want to see car chats me not go go sit on in my car with the eat that is in florida the camera overheats i overheat it's a whole situation gas expensive no i'm not driving around no so therefore car chats are limited okay plus what am i gonna talk about i don't feel like talking about nothing in car chats so you won't be seeing that either i might though like if something moves me and again oh lord the camera about to drop lord of mercy what a piece of something oh, stay where you're at stay where you're at but yeah i'm just gonna do content that moves me and that i'm interested in doing you good okay it may be a little wonky, but yeah, I'm gonna do content that I'm interested in doing, things that I'm happy doing. I'm not gonna stop reviewing products. I'm not gonna stop doing swatches. It's just gonna be a little bit more relaxed over here. Not that it wasn't, cause I don't need nobody permission to be relaxed, y'all. My content been relaxed. <laughs> You'll see a video probably once a week. I'm not gonna pressure myself. I'm just gonna do what I'm happy with. But yeah, I wanted to update you guys on the purchases. Did I even finish what I my thoughts? I don't even know. The point is, I have limited my purchases for the year and I'm going to continue doing that. And I'm going to try to not buy anything unless it really speaks to me, such as the Lisa Eldridge products that I'm going to do a video for and those I was interested in. Anything else that pops up that may be interesting, I might consider it, but I'm not going out of my way. You know what I mean? All these sales that are going on, would you be surprised if I told you I did not buy a single thing so far for Black Friday and I don't intend on picking anything up for Cyber Monday? Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm not interested. And I, I'm going to try to keep it that way for the rest of the year like seriously and I've been liking how it feels so again it's a win for me that I'm using this new approach so it feels good from my end and that's all that I ask for that it feels good for me and you guys are not gonna see much of an impact because I've slowly been moving away from review heavy content anyway I've slowly been moving away from every new thing catch it now get it in a video like do i have removed myself from that arena okay uh there are other people that are better at that than i am so i'll let them have that good for you i'm not doing it and i'm also not going to try to force myself to do these multiple videos a week thing i'll do videos as i have time and as i feel like i want to do videos because that's another thing i was getting into a place where i didn't want to film and i don't want to feel like that so i'm just gonna go with the vibe that i'm feeling and hopefully you guys will stay and be along for the ride because i love having you here and a lot of you guys already you you already know the vibe so I know I can depend on you guys for the support. So thank you again so much for sticking around. And I'm gonna I'm just get myself together and head out now. But I hope you guys are having a great holiday season so far. And oh, you know what? I need to do a video with this Christmas palette. Oh my God. But yeah, they're gonna be videos with different products as always. And this is gonna be a great chance for me to also review some products that are like backed up in my collection that I haven't touched. And also revisit like some older releases and older collections as well. So hopefully you guys stay around for that. 
And I will leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which hopefully will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys. Bye.